Hi, I'm going to elaborate on what we did last time talking about how to hold the club and that we wanted the hands sort of parallel to each other, palms facing each other and with the arms hanging down. I'm going to take that a little bit further now because a lot of people ask me how tight to hold the golf club and I want to try and kind of explain that to you because the answer to that is not very tight at all. The club should be trapped correctly in the right parts of the hand. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you that. You're going to take your left hand and there's a meaty pad on your left hand here which sits at the back and we're going to sit the club behind and underneath the meaty pad there so we try and get the club in that position there I'm trying to do a close up on that okay with the first finger hooking under like that and the thumb so when we face on that looks like that okay so the idea behind this now is that I don't need to hold it tight the weight of the golf club is here in the head, so centrifugally it will try and get out of my hands that way, pulling away from me that way. So I'm going to demonstrate now why, if you get the club in the right place in your left hand, what's going to be able to happen is you're going to be able to release the back three fingers and your thumb and lean all your weight on that golf club. Now I'm leaning back now, as you can see I'm leaning right back and my able assistant's holding the golf club for me and it's not moving in my hand at all. So actually, I can just wrap, wrap my hand around gently and keep hold of the club, no matter how hard I'm swinging the golf club. You then place your right hand underneath in the fingers of your right hand and trigger your first finger of your right hand as if you were throwing a ball. So we try and hold the ball like that. If we're throwing it, we would do the same onto the golf club. So it looks like that. Okay, I think that'll do.